Hey, this is Andy Mandel with the Mandel team at Remax, and I'm here to give you your 2019 market recap and our predictions on what's going to happen in the real estate market going into 2020. So 2019 saw actually a 5% decrease in the number of new homes hitting the market, while at the same time, 6.2% more homes actually selling and coming off the market. So supply and demand tells us that fewer homes hitting the market, more homes selling creates an imbalance and that's gonna drive up pricing. And that's exactly what we saw. So for single family homes in Coral Springs, the median price in 2019 was 409,000. That's up about one and a half percent from 2018. So nothing substantial, but prices are continuing to go up. We saw in 2019 that the average days on market was 34 days compared to 30 in 2018. So prices went up just a little bit. It took slightly longer to sell, just four days more, but things are still selling. The economy's still doing really good. There's still a lot of demand out there. So what's our prediction for 2020? Well, still more of the same. I predict that we're still gonna see a slight increase in prices, nothing crazy like we were seeing the last couple of years of five, six, seven percent, but somewhere around the two to three percent market as far as appreciation and prices, while at the same time, interest rates are still very, very low. So the demand is still gonna be the same. It's still a great time if you're a buyer. If you're thinking about selling your home in 2020, right now on the market, as we record this at the beginning of January, there's just, just over two months of inventory on the market. So a balanced market is if there's six months, anything less is a seller's market, anything more is a buyer's market. So with two months of inventory, we're very much in a seller's market right now coming into 2020. So if you're thinking about selling, this is an excellent time to get ready to put your home on the market. As the spring and summer months hit the market, there's a lot more homes that come available, more options for buyers to choose from. So now is an excellent time to be a seller. And it's a fantastic time to be a buyer with interest rates still very, very low. This is a great time to lock in a, a fixed payment compared to rents, which have just skyrocketed over the last couple of years. So that's our recap for 2019 and our predictions for 2020. If you have any questions on how this affects you, if you're a buyer, a seller, or a renter, if you have any friends or family who are thinking about making a move here in 2020, we'd love to be of assistance to them to break down what's going on in the market and help them get the absolute best deal on their property, whether they're buying or they're selling. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.